Blue Ridge Dancer, written by Michael Tebbett. Two, Bold Edge, Pat Edry. Three, Bold Fact, Karen Fallon. Four, Chips, carrying the second colours of the Lucan Stud, and written by Richard Hughes. Five is Desert Prince, written by Olivier Pellier. Six is Diligence, Richard Quinn. Seven, Hadid, Richard Hills. Eight is Harbour Master for Ireland, written by Christy Roach. Nine is Halil, carrying the second colours of uh, Sheikh Hamdan al Maktoum. He did is carrying the first. And Halil, written by Michael Hills. Ten is Hickory, written by Ray Cochran. Eleven, Rusty Babe McCannan. Twelve, Shadow of Doubt written by John Reed. 13 is Speed Fit 2, written by Gary Carter. 14, Swift Alliance, David Harrison. And 15, Out Like Magic, John Egan. Putting it about 11 to 4, drifting to 3 to 1. Bold Edge, 92 out to 5. Bold Fact is 11 to 2 from 5 to 1. Shadow of Doubt, very easy there. 11 to 2, straight out to 13 to 2. Then they go 8 to 1 Chips, 10's Diligence, 12 to 1 Hail, then 12 to 1 Hardid, 16 Blue Ridge Dancer and Harbour Master, 25 to 1 Rusty Babe and Swift Alliance, 50 to 1 Outlight Magic, and 100 to 1 Hickory and Speed Fit 2. For the Coven trip, and they're away. Desert Prince breaks well towards the right of the picture, towards the near side. Desert Prince, one of the early leaders, was showing, Chips is showing ahead of him now, though. Chips, and also right up there is Heel, and it's Chips Heel from Brave Fact now. Chips the leader from High Heel, and then Bold Fact on the outside of Bold Fact, showing very good speed is Diligence. Desert Prince is well there too. And over on the far side, Bold Edge is showing very good speed under Pat Edry. But the leader at the moment is Hale. Hale towards the near side as they come down to the two furlong pole from Bold Fact in second. Making a good run just in behind them is Desert Princess. Bold Fact weaves his way right across the course towards the left on the near side. Desert Prince beginning to wear down. Hail on the near side, but isolated over on the far side is Bull Fact, and as they race towards the line, it's Bull Fact over on the far side. Bull Fact on the far side, and Harbour Bar finishing very close on the near side, and Harbour Harbour Master may have got up on the near side. Harbour Master on the near side. Brave Fact on the far side. It's close between these two. It's very difficult to tell. In fact, it probably isn't close because because the uh, angle is so deceptive and they're wide apart, but I think Harbour Master got up for Ireland all right under Christy Roach. Harbour Master on the near side and Bold Fact who lost all his chance. There he is on the inside. Harbour Master with Desert Prince getting up to be second, just ahead of Bold Fact over on the far side. A devastating finish this by, by this Harbour Master who's attained for Aidan O'Brien, his very first winner at Royal Ascot. Ridden by Christy Roach, it's number four at Royal Ascot for him and the first non-handicap he's ever won. So the result of this Coventry Stakes. First, number eight, Harbour Master, owned by Mrs. John Magna, trained by Aidan O'Brien and ridden by Christy Roach. Second was number five, Desert Prince, Owned by Lucan Stud, trained by David Loder and ridden by Olivier Pellier. And third, the horse who threw away his chance by veering right across the course. Number two, Bold Edge, owned by... Number three, a Bold Fact, owned by Caleb Abdallah, trained by Henry Cecil and ridden by Kieran Fallon. With fourth, number six, Diligence. But this is the winner we're looking at, the uh, Harbour Master. The winner, number eight, Harbour Master, returned at 16 to 1. Second, number five, Desert Prince, the 3 to 1 favourite. And third, number three, Bold Fact.